Did you guys know that in pre-Islamic Arabian times, there was a second Kaaba? Dur Khalasa is a god, but it is also a physical place. Um, Dur Khalasa was a temple. It was basically a second Kaaba, and it was located in Tabala, north of Mecca. Dur Khalasa used to have a big white quartz idol. And some sources describe it as being a large pillar with a crown on top of it. And it was also referred to as the Yemenite Kaaba. Classical sources suggest that Dur Khalasa is associated with fertility as well as divination. And they would divine by throwing arrows or casting arrows onto the floor in front of the idol. And there is a lesser known um, quote from the Prophet Muhammad, which says, the hour will not come until the buttocks of the women of Daus are set in motion while going around Dul Khalasa. Mind you, the idea of doing Tawaf around the Kaaba is very old. It is not something that came originally from Islam. This was something that the pagans practiced because above Kaaba or above um, that area of the, of the Middle East, I forgot the name of the star, but there's a star in the sky that does the same thing. It circles around another star. They're copying what they see in the sky. But anyways, there's been suggestions that there is a fertility aspect to this goddess or god because of the idea of um, waists and hips and gyration and things like that. They think that there's a fertility aspect or a phallic aspect as well because the deity was a pillar giving a, like a phallic vibe to it. But fast forward from ancient times, in 1815, there was a revival. Okay. There was a revival and people found out that they were giving sacrifice or trying to re-worship Dul Khalasa. And basically Wahhabis made a military campaign and destroyed it and took the idol of Dul Khalasa and destroyed it with gunfire. Pre-Islamic paganism has always existed and whether... Islam likes to recognize it or not, some of its practices are adopted from paganism. Thank you.